Nancy. We trust her to wait until some people come. I have one viewer. I'll set you, Kayla. You just wait a little bit. Two viewers. Okay. We just give it a little bit until more people jump on. I know I said I would do the tutorial at noon. But since noon, I had one customer after another customer coming in the store and I just couldn't go live while I customers here. So I had to wait until it's not as busy in the store anymore. So uh, I just give it a couple more minutes and I will show you today how to do the, how I made the Gio cookie cutter and I will show you how to make your own custom cookie cutters. Like today I made this, I don't know if you can see. Like this quirky shaped cookie cutter. Kind of hard because my fingers are in the way. It looks like a quirky and I will show you how to make your own cookie cutters. Um, it is a little bit time consuming but you know it's like if you want to make a freshie or if you want to make a cookie and for an example you want to make the shape of your dog of course you would not find that online uh, or you want to make something really special or you can you have an idea about a freshie and you just cannot find the shape that's where um our how to make your own um cookie cutter how how we make it and we do have the supplies we sell it in the store so that is pretty much a 10 foot roll and that is the same material what your cookie cutters are made from so it has said sharp edge on one side and set rolled edge on the other side and i will teach you how how to make it so you can easily make your own cookie cutter so we do have set in our store we sell it in our store you will need um this roll of um it's called a tin strip you will need a needle nose pliers uh you will need a printer to get your image just get yourself a SVG, print it out, and you will need, and where did I put it? For regular cookie cutters, if you just bake, you can to, uh, use a uh, regular tape. And for, uh, Kayla, would you be so nice to take care of the customer? How can I help you? How are you doing? I'm very sorry, I'm during business hours right now, so She's I just got a oh. customer in, so. Oh, okay. I was just seeing, I wanted to make a dog chain for my dog with a diamond um, on it. And I just wanted okay, to... can you bring the gentleman in the back? I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, I'm sorry. That, I'm sorry. that happens when I do during business hours, when I try to do lives. So I just got a customer in again, but Kayla is taking care of it right now. And yeah, I lost track because I got a little bit. If you use it as a regular, just cookie cutter for uh, cookies, you can use any kind of tape to close it. If you um, use it for freshies, you need a special tape. And we do sell the heat tape as well in the store. So, so the brown one is a heat resistant tape. You do not want to bake a uh, regular Scotch tape. Uh, it's not heat safe. It would release toxic gases. So you would need um, heat safe tape. And we do sell the heat safe tape in our store as well. So... I think everybody is waiting on how to make the, the guillots. So with the guillots, I actually, let me pull you down so you can see what I'm doing. So with the guillot, all what I did is I freehanded, kind of just kind of gave me the rough shape. It's maybe a little bit too big. I just wanted to have a rough shape. So nothing special to it. Can you guys all see it? And oh, what you need is some kind of string. So your next is you just go with your string around because you want to see kind of roughly. 
how much of that strip you need. So that is kind of what I roughly need. I make it a little bit longer just to make sure. So from here to here. Now you put that on your tin strip. And I do sell these tin strips in my store. So I wanna go up to here. So that gives me how long I need it. And that's just a Dollar Tree scissors. So I know I need that long strip. So a geode is very irregular, nothing special to it. So I just, I have here two needle nose pliers. You can get away with just that one. I got that one uh, $5 at Walmart. And I got that one at $5 for Walmart too. I like that one special for straight edges. If I want to have something straight, it gave me here a uh, better detail. It made me, it was easier for me to do 90 degree angles. But if you don't have that one, Walmart sells that one $5. They have the same one, $5. So you can get away with just that one. So I just kind of leave at first a straight edge because that's where my overlap is. And all what I literally do is I take my needle nose pliers, squeeze it together and I make a bend. And then I go over there and I make a bend again. And maybe I go like that and I just go around and I make bends. And you really want to just, oh, sorry. Let me hold it a little bit higher so you can see that. I normally have somebody which one. How about, could you come back Monday and then we can put it all up? Watch it. So I just make your bends. And I just go a couple times zigzag. Then I maybe go twice in that direction. Then I maybe, I wanna have not too regular. So you see what, what I'm creating? I'm creating right now so rough edges of my geode. And I, I literally just freehand them. So I go here. Now I leave a little bit more space because I'm gonna have it irregular. Maybe I wanna go twice like that direction. And that's how many times your geode cookie cutter will be very unique, only you will have that shape. You just go. And I just keep going around. Be careful so you don't cut yourself on the sharp edge. There is a soft edge. So we just go around. So I go. Maybe I do it like that. It's so easy, just freehanded. Try to make it irregular. Sorry, couldn't wave. I just try to get jagged edges. You guys see that? And if you guys have questions, just ask me questions. I will have to. Kayla, can you come and read questions just in case? So I just go around. So the geode will be actually, if I recommend you anything, the geode will be probably your easiest and fastest cookie cutter because you don't need to go, um, go around. You just literally just take your needle nose pliers, make your bins. And you just keep going until you're almost to the end. So I want to look at it. That's kind of a little bit too big for me. Uh, I made it a little bit too big. So I can just cut a little bit off. 
you know, you can choose how big you want to have your geared outer shell. I do think I probably want to have it like here. You know, you hold it. I want to kind of have that shape so I can still play with it. But I kind of want to have it overlapping here. So I have here my Sharpie. Actually, it's just a dry erase marker. Sharpie, dry erase marker, anything. So that was too much. I take my dollar three scissors. You don't want to use a good scissor. You want to have something what's easy to replace. Cut it here. Now I will look at it again if I like the size. I think it's pretty good on size. I want to have these jagged edges. So I overlap them here. You see how I just overlap them. And where is my heat safe tape? I had a copper tape here on the table. I had it just a second. Oh, here is my heat safe tape. So this is a heat safe tape. I just take a strip of my heat safe tape. Don't throw away that strip because that's how we can make the inner layer. Any questions? Kayla, you need to see the comments so you can read questions. Nothing. You might have to ask Ashley how you can... Yeah, swipe to reveal comments on reactions. They're Here's watching. It. Oh, everybody watching. Nobody has questions yet. So I just take a strip of my heat safe tape. Very important. We do sell the kit. We do sell the heat safe tape. Starting next week. I will, we start to have the presented freshies. We're still making everything ready for the store and online. So you just go around and you want to tape it good. And I said, if you uh, use it for cookie cutters, for dough to bake and you don't bake this, you don't need the heat safe tape. If you, um, use it for uh, freshies, your cookie cutters, and I definitely recommend a uh, heat safe tape. There you go, a couple times around. Kind of make sure that I flatten it here where I cut it. Now I would have here, you see a too, too long straight line just go here, tape one more time to make sure that it really holds up. Now after it's taped together, I make here a uh, extra kink in. And then you just shape it to size how you want to have it. If you want to have a more long geared or you want to have a more round geared, you just shape it to size and you have your irregular shape for your geared. And that's all to it. It's so super easy to make. Uh, for my geared, I will show you, um, I will do next week a tutorial. I will show you, I made four rings and each one that was my biggest one and then i just went smaller and smaller and i just laid here and then i just made a same technique a smaller one and then one smaller one and a tiny one that's why i said we said cut up uh don't throw that away so could it be for an example my smallest one i will just go around and that will be probably my middle one i can after i tape it together it's easier to put sensor bend in so if you have too much, don't throw it away because you maybe can make mini cookie cutters with it. So I would just kind of tape set together and then I have the inside of a geode. You want to have the irregular shape. So I would have here an inside. And I made two other ones to for my uh, geode to have really many ones. And there were nothing was just very freehand freestyle. Nobody has any questions? Just see a bunch of people watching. Nobody asks questions. So that's the geodes. Super, super easy to do. That is probably your warm up. Just so you get a feel for it, how to bend it, how how to make it. 
So you tape it, how I said, very, very easy. Now, people wanna say how I wanna make, like for an example, I just made before you guys, I made this quirky cookie shape because I couldn't find a quirky cookie shape. I needed a quirky cookie shape. So I made out of the same kit, what we sell in our store, or the same thing, I made this cookie cutter. So what I did is I went online and I just found me a quirky silhouette or anything, what you like. If you have a picture of your dog and it's a full picture, and you wanna make maybe a cardboard cut out and wanna have your dog freshies, that's perfectly fine too. I just didn't have a picture of my dog, which one was all on it. So I just got a quirky silhouette. So same thing as we did the other ones that I kind of roughly know what I need is I, just said so you see, I went roughly around with my string and you can reuse the same string over again, just roughly around so that I kind of know. How much tin strip I need. I know I need here a little bit more because of the ears. No, so that's kind of around. I always give me extra because it's better to have a little bit cut off than not go all around and then you don't have enough. Oh, I don't even cut it normally. I just hold my fingers here. I know I need set links. So I take my tin strip. I just hold where I have set is not the side I will need. I kind of need it up to here. So, so quirky is a little bit harder than the guillot. The guillot is by far your easiest cookie cutter which one you ever make. So I just cut it. So I have set piece. I wanna, you have here the side, which one is surrounded edge side, just like a cookie cutter here, you have the sharp side. I kind of like to have the sharp side facing my paper. Let me see if you guys can see it better. So what I start now is I always want to kind of start where I know I can overlap. So I start on that area. And you will need a dry erase marker, a Sharpie, anything what you can mark it. And what I do is I just hold it here on the silhouette. And I just kind of bend it with my finger. So I have here a sharp edge, if you can see. So I go and mark it here, so that I have here a sharp edge. So I make me here a line with my dry erase marker. I know that edge needs to go down, so I take my needle nose pliers and I kind of bend it down. So I have here a sharper edge. So I hold it here on my guideline. So I have my first one. If it goes a little bit around, I can see if it's not that sharp, if I can bend it with my fingers. I already try to, you know, if you have to put a pin to bend it around, if that helps you, that works. So I go here. Kind of want to soften that edge a little bit because it was not quite as short but so i have that edge that edge i need to go exactly here that's a tight area so i need to mark it right here that's where my little paw is so i take my needle nose pliers i hold it tight Put it, align it with the paw, and then I push it up there. So for a regular shape, which one you can buy, it's too time consuming to make, but you know, if there is really some a shape which one you want, you cannot get, that's your perfect solution. 
if I, I know with freshies, I need a little bit bigger spaces. So I do actually make some areas a little bit bigger with the openings, like the ears, because I would know that I could not fill in the ears. So I make my ears a little bit bigger so that I know that my freshie beads uh, fit in. If I would do it with, with dough, uh, for, for cookie making, so I would not do it. But you know, for the ears, for freshies, I want to make that ear a little bit bigger. I know it's that my beads fit in. So you can play around. You kind of can change it a little bit. So I know here is the paw, which one I have to go around backwards again. So I mark my next line. around so I have here my next line and if you make a mistake not a big deal because I think I just bend it too far it should have been here just bend it straight that's where that one comes in Kind of make it straight. You have kind of two, three times before the metal will break. So I have to go hold it on here again to see. I was like I said, I have to go. It was the paw, and I have to go like up. The small areas of all your hoard is. So I do have it here. I just didn't bend it right. And you take is there any questions so far can you guys all see what i'm doing so i hold it over there here is a more softer band i could do it with the needle nose pliers but i do think that i can just do it with my finger where i hold my finger same thing over here i just bend my finger i just go and bend it with my fingers It's I normally you know if there is a popular shape which one I can buy online I will do it but I that specific one that little quirky I have a customer and she loved her dog and she got sick and she's a customer a long time customer I'm even friends with her privately she loved her dog Daisy and. Daisy got cancer and she was really trying everything what she could do for that dog from surgeries to everything but Daisy sadly passed away and I, I want to make something for uh, Jen she's my customer and I was thinking you know maybe a little freshy and I want to make a quirky freshy I couldn't find a quirky uh, cookie cutter so what I do, that's why I make my own. Or I couldn't find a geo cookie cutter. I mean, the geo is super easy, so I make my own. And that's what I do, you know. It's like sometimes you just want to have a shape what nobody else has. You know, a lot of people, you guys sell your, your freshies. And 
you know, there's a lot of competition out there. So you maybe want to have that one shape, what nobody else has in your store. And uh, how to achieve that is you make your own cookie cutter with that shape, which one nobody else has yet. And only you will have that shape. Or you have a customer, which one, for example, says uh, she wants to have... Uh, what I did is... That was just a fast minute try. That's like a freshie with a poop emoji. I couldn't right away find a poop emoji and that was really easy to do, a cookie cutter. So I just made fast my own, you know. It's just like if you have an idea, it's sometimes, you know, it's it's for easy shapes. So Corky is probably a little more intricate, but I wanted to show you something super easy like the geode. And, but you know, don't be afraid of more integrated ones because you know, it's, it's really not that hard. It's, it's really, as long as you make your lines and start to bend and uh, half an hour later, you have your cookie cutter. So I just hold it here. Here I need to bend for my ear. It's a little sharper bend. Kind of see if I can bend it like that. So I do know that I want to have my ears a little bit bigger because the beads will not fit here. So I plan for that in. I still want to kind of stay in the shape, but I want to have just a tiny bit bigger so that I can have my beads in here. So, and I go here, hold it, I need to bend it down. It's still a tight space. And I want to bend it here a little bit together on the other side a little bit more. My goal for my customers is that you're one step ahead of the big crowd. I know there will be so many people which want to start to follow you, uh, which want to start to copy you. But you know, my goal for my customers is, and I know it's for the tumbler makers or for the freshie makers now, which one I start to get. And we will start to have, next week we will start with the uh, launch of the freshie supplies. We're making everything ready right now. Um, I try to help you guys to be successful in your business. And one thing is step out of the crowd, have at least one or two items which will make you special. If you just follow the big crowd, you will be one of many. And especially if you sell on Etsy, how do people choose you? Because your products, I find that one product, which one you have, you don't need to make everything special, but you need to have a couple products in your store, which one is, has almost like your signature, that's how they find you. And then they will look for the stuff, which one everybody makes. But said said you step out of the crowd and that's my goal for you as your customer said uh, that you guys are successful if you guys are successful you guys come back to me you will buy the supplies from me uh and if you sell a lot you buy a lot of supplies from me so that's my goal that's why i go many times even on my free time i try new techniques out i do things which one was not done before so if people like in other groups, when I show what I did and I don't tell them right away what's done, no, it's mostly for, for you guys, for my customers. And that is my job. I I make here and say, I do make freshies here and there, but it's not my main income. My store is my income. Helping you guys, that is my job. So if I don't give everybody my secrets and I give at first my group and my customers, so the edge, so the priorities that you guys know it first before the broad range knows, that is my job. Of course, everybody starts to copy, but please, it's it will help. It, it at least you have for a little bit. You will know more than than the rest. That's kind of my goal. Yes. Lisbon Ramirez asked where could uh, they find the metal. At my store, fairytaleglitter.com, uh, I sell that kit in my, or that metal in my stock. It's a 10-foot long strip. 
So you can make several cookie cutters. I already made, I still have several left. I made my outer geode. I made already a thing. So it, that costs you, I think we have it for $10. Uh, Kayla, would you be so nice and put a charger on the, on Ashley's phone really fast because it's, we have to make it happen. Ask Ashley, get Ashley very fast. We having a, uh, phone issues right now we have to put the charger so let me continue to do so i have my ear here which one has to go up is that the right iphone charger you have to move over here can we i don't think we can do ask ashley not fast she knows how to do it so we can't don't have to change that get her fast so all what I did is I made that we just have to get the charger on the phone because uh, when we go live, it drains the, the battery so fast. So I go here and make that ear. I go down again. Okay, one sec. I got another customer, people, so be patient with me. I will send somebody to you oh. in a second. Oh, I'm sorry, I what hope am I doing? You don't mind. I'm live right now in the group. <laughs> I know. Why I went today live on during business hours is we actually going this weekend. We are all of fairy tale glitter, we are X throwers and we're going this weekend on a tournament and a lot of people freshly say ask me when you're doing these tutorials when you're doing these tutorials and it's i couldn't do it this weekend because we're going on an extra ring tournament this weekend so i thought i have to make it i cannot do it after hours because as soon as my store is closing today we will go on the road and we will drive to tyler texas to an extra ring tournament those are the longest services we have here okay so we Kind of, we need to just, Ashley, can you help us rearranging the phone and then help the customer? Oh, you took off my pointer? It wouldn't fit. You can't slip it out. What do you mean customer? So I just keep bending. What customer? Uh, we have a customer in the store. Oh. Um, so I just keep holding it on it, I see if I'm still over. good. I know I have here a little bit sharper bend, which one I don't think that I can do that really with the fingers or I just go with my finger a little bit. I do think, yes, we have our charger situation handled. And now I need to go from here out. And you will see in a little bit that how the quirky will come alive. Any questions anymore, uh, Kayla? No? I do not see that I have to bend that a little bit more, but that. So I need to go backwards now. So nose and the face is probably your hardest shape. Well, I have here a bend which one is a little bit too too sharp so I straighten it out a little bit. And that's where said one comes in even. I want to straighten things out. Let 
me try set again. Maybe it's easier for me if I hold it different. I just have to go here a little bit higher up. So the nose is just a little bit higher. Michelle said she missed your lives. Which lives? lives? Oh, yes, Michelle, we are so, 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 so busy. And Tumblr makers, I did not forget about you. I have things going on in the background. We are starting to launch all the fresh supplies in our store. We will have cookie cutters. We will have the great cushion for freshies I created. Or we're working on custom molds, which one I created with the designs. So a lot is going on. I had to go and personally smell all the scents and didn't just cut uh, the next best. So there was a lot, there's a lot of going on in the background. Plus we have our regular orders. We made the pre-sale for you guys ready. Uh, always experimenting for new things. And every once in a while <laughs> I need to sleep. So I... I will see, you know, when things come down, I will do still Tumblr tutorials, your paint tutorials. I have a couple mold ideas. I will do your freshest tutorials. You know, I do have a great support team with Sarah and with Teresa and all the people, um, other people which won't go. In, uh, and my children which won't go live. It just, you know, it's just a lot of going on and I only have two hands and be patient with me. I will do, do a tutorial on the turquoise freshie on that technique. And that will be a tutorial on a freshie and on a tumbler. Because you can use the same technique on both. Or even on a mold. Um, I will do the guillot once. You just, I, I just have to have time. And I think you guys see right now. It's like, it's, it's really, really hard to do for me tutorials during business hours. Because every two minutes somebody walks in and it kind of uh, distracts me from tutorials. So I have to do it after business hours. But, you know, after business hours, sometimes I'm just really, really, really tired. So I have to bend that a little bit by my hand. So I put that. And I need my dry erase marker would it be probably easier if I would have pulled it like that sorry here's the it's super easy to bump together the instructions right here and then it comes with a little foam so I need to go down this time and then I, believe I keep this holding like the heads here. Can you guys already see that I'm starting to get the shape of the corky together? So that's an easy one, like the round shape here. I just press with my finger. Here I have something which one is a little bit sharper, but I think I can do it just with my finger. I don't need the pliers where I go around here and around here. You see, the quirky comes slowly alive. It's coming alive. And I, after I have it attached together, I can still play around with it a little bit. So I'm more excited. So that's a really sharp edge, what I need. And with the sharp edges, sometimes I squeeze the two outside ends together, that I get it really sharp. Okay. Here I need to go up again. Why is there no nuts by either? Okay. I bend it up. This 
since that's my last bend here. Okay, well, here, hit refresh for me, please. On this one? Yep. So my overlap is here. Uh, can you please give me a bag? A big bag. Here I do my cut. Now I lay it on top of here. I see if I'm kind of, I can hear a little bit. I need to bend it here a little bit more down. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's 34 this one. Here's a nose needs to be a little bit more straightened out. So you can play with it how good you want to have it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry yet. You check out, or your um, total is 5464? Gotcha. So what I do now, it is, I will mark here where, where right the things overlap. Yes, and after I glued it together, I still do some fine detail work. So I take my heat resistant tape again. Oh, I sell such heat resistant tape in my store as well. Do you want to touch it in your seat? If you. What's one of this? You do not want to uh, bake any vinyl products. It's, I already told another thing is, like uh, for the freshie makers, not all glitter is the same. So, tumbler makers already all know the difference between pulley glitter and craft glitter. Walmart and some stores is, uh, or the Dollar Tree, say sell craft glitter. Craft glitter is vinyl based. If you bake that, you will release toxic gases. That's why you need poly glitter. I mean, poly glitter has so many, it's just a different, it has a higher heat rating. It is for the tumbler makers or mold makers say, no, it doesn't bleed, it doesn't fade. You can use it for your nails, or at least mine, you can use it for nails and body. And let me just tape set together here. Just make sure it's really overlapping. That edge is by edge. Okay, now. And I make sure I put a couple things all on it. So I tape here where set edge is together. So I see a lot in the fresher community that uh, people have problems with demolding their freshies. There is a really easy trick. Go and buy yourself some mold release. I do not carry mold release or get yourself some Pam and just spray a little bit on it and your freshies will come out pretty easy out of your cookie cutters. Um, you need to repeat that every once in a while, but just, just spray a little bit of Pam or mold release on, on your cookie cutters and you will not have a problem with demolding your... Yes. And Jake says, what glitters are on the Geo Freshie? She makes freshies herself and would like to make one with glitter. Okay, on um, my geode, I uh, used Hikate. And I used, okay, I made, made several. Um, for the white, I used Willow Spress. It's an irregular cut, and I used Hikate Chunky Mix. And for, um, for the lighter ring, I made just some purple. I used Chuno. I think Chuno is in the pre sale I don't have it in stock. It sells out a lot. I just got it cut it in. But, I mean, you can... I like for the geodes, the chameleon. Chameleon glitters are color shifts glitters. It depends. If you go from one side, it will maybe look uh, purple. If you move here, it will look pink. And if you look over there, it looks green. And I have several different chameleon glitters. And for the geodes, I really liked for the darker ones, like the chameleon look. 
and I did like the irregular cut look. Uh, Below Express is an ir ir irregular cut look, and I, I really like that one in Freshies too. And I will show you um, next week how, how I made it. You know, it's I did more than one cutter and how I achieved that look on set. It's, I mean, you can try already at home, but you know, I will for the people which one are patient enough to wait. I will show you guys how I made it. So I'm still not 100% happy with how the front looked, so I have to kind of bend it. Just kind of hold it here so that I know that I have to put here a little bit, here a little bit out, here a little bit in. I press the ear, of course, a little bit out. I have to do, play around a little bit. Need to press that ear still a little bit together. Are you able to use just white glitter, or does it have to be a thick glitter? No, you can use any glitter. All of my glitters are heat rated for 350 degrees. All of them. It's if it's a poly glitter, you can bake it. If I put a sequin behind it, do not bake it. But all my, uh, I, I don't even think that I have sequ uh, sequins in the store right now, which one I would not recommend to bake. I don't think I have them. I think everything is right now, by now, glitter and it's bake safe. And I don't know how to press it. And it's really, and you can Google it. If you bake vinyl based glitter, which one is, if you're not sure if it is, not a poly glitter, do not attempt to bake it. You will slowly poison your family. It will go in the oven, it will hang there, you're cooking next time some food, you will inhale said, uh, you don't wanna do it. Uh, just just make sure that you do not just bake any kind of glitter, it has to be poly uh, heat safe one. You will release through the baking process toxic films. And I try to explain it when people say, oh, I went to go dollar store and I got the glitter and I started to bake it. And I was trying to warn people, it's like how, like, I mean, you know, if you make soaps, you cannot just put any mica in a soap. You have to have a cosmetic grade uh, level soap. You cannot just bake any kind of glitter. You have to make sure that you get in the right thing. You cannot just put any kind of plastic palettes in and mix it with, uh, with aroma oils. You have to have aroma beads. So for everything, there is the right product and there are some wrong products. And maybe the wrong products are just cheaper and you may be more available, but you, you have to have the right product for things. So I, and not just because I carry the heat safe um, products, I do have micas in my store as well. If you can look at the mica section, I, uh, we have in the pre-orders, uh, glow in the dark, I will have set set. Next week we will start uh, cookie cutters and I do think I get more customers in the store. It is <laughs> very, very busy today. I don't know if they come to me or next door. Oh, next door? Yeah. Uh, okay, so I go next door. So, let me see. I didn't like set area here yet, but I'm getting here pretty close to my quirky. I still have to bend it here, here the tail end a little bit and I have a quirky shaped cookie cutter. I can play a little bit around that I kind of put that a little bit more down. So snout is important so you can play a little bit around. I do think that I like that snout better now. And so you have your two quirkies. I only needed one. I just wanted to show you this other one. And I'm sorry that I'm talking so much. But it's really not that hard to make. Um, it is just an option. If you don't have a shape, you don't see it anywhere. You cannot buy it. Yes, it takes you probably half an hour to an hour to make a cookie cutter. You know, that's why I definitely say just buy a cookie cutter if the shape is out. But, you know, if the shape is not out and you cannot find it, Here's your option. Just get your kit and you you can make several cookie cutters. I mean, see how much I still have left. And I already made one, two, 
a large one and actually you know if i would have taped that i would have had automatically say so inside of my geode already ready i have here a little overlap strip do not throw these away you know maybe you can i would not um recommend to do right away a mini cutter because it's really hard and then you probably need the jewelry needle nose pliers to do mini cutters but you know after you made a couple ones attempt to make your mini cutters so it's the mini cutters are to how bigger how easier it will be at the beginning but you know after you get in the hang out of it be creative i mean just the sky is your limit if you do things and i mean my whole set i think it's for i think it's for 9.99 in the store the heat safe tape is three dollars as i said do not bake your regular tape if you just use it for cookies you can use the regular tape every once in a while you know it's you might have to replace it but so far i did not have to replace it and i used it already a couple times so just i don't know if you can see just keep your tape that that one is safe to bake and if you want to have it, if you want to have any kind of, I mean, the sky is your limit with that technique. So can you see? I have a little quirky. And I think my customer will be really happy that I got a quirky cookie cutter now. Any questions? Did, you, could, did I explain it good enough for you guys? Did you have any problems understanding me? For the new members, uh, yes, I do have an accent. I am German. English is my second language. I'm a horrible typer, so if I answer you and uh, grammar is off or I type wrong, I mean, typing is my fault. I should it actually double check before I send it. Uh, but yeah, it's like sometimes my grammar is off when I answer you guys. I just try to do my best. You know, English is not my first language. Uh, if you guys are in the Killeen Temple, Copper's Cove, Central Texas area, we do have a storefront store where you actually can see all the glitters and the inks and the marble paints and you will be able to smell the aroma beads. So uh, we are located in Killeen. We can give you the address. We have a storefront so you can stop by i don't know we got a lot of new members so um every once in a while i get a customer in and say oh i'm ordering for you for a month and now i just figure out that you're in the area we are located in killeen and we do have a storefront is there any question and yes you can find set strip 10 foot long in our store and we have set one in the store too for your needle nose pliers you don't really need it, but you know, I kind of like that if I really need straight edges, like if I make a house or something else, I kind of like that one. That is not necessary. You get an absolutely buy with a $5 one. And I think most people will have a needle nose plier at home. And you know, any tool is game. Sometimes when I read it, uh, need it small round, like for the poof freshy which one i make and i did just said with paper not even cardstock it was just i wanted it was just playing around and had a little bit beads left so for that area i kind of couldn't bend it with my uh with my fingers as well so i started to use a bit uh, a pin i mean anything what you have lying around you can can shape your cookie cutters it's a very end just press it set its level do the same thing press it set its level so it's there's nothing out and you have your custom cookie cutters you have any questions i give it a couple seconds debbie i think you're too late i'm just done <laughs> but you have to watch the replay debbie i know i was trying to get on live but in uh, around noon and we had one customer after another customer, and the mailman came, and we had another customer. Even now, I had several customers while I, during it. So that is when people ask me, what time do, do you do the live? And I say, I don't know yet. I have to see when I have time. And I 
you know, sometimes it's, when I got, I have every, all my supplies in my shop. So when I go home, I don't have in my house uh, many craft supplies or also supplies. I just don't have it. Yeah, I would have to stay extra long here. And sometimes I stay after business hours here. But every once in a while, I just want to go home at a decent time too. And Debbie, she is a customer. She knows that I, I work long times hours. And so just bear with me. I will release all the techniques. I will show you guys how I did the guild. I will show you how I did the... Turquoise, I have some other surprises for you guys, which one working in the background, but I don't want to overwhelm you and want to release everything. I have for your tumbler makers for something, I have for your mold makers, for your pen makers. So we will just continue to do more tutorials and have fun together. So, last time, anybody else has any questions for me? You're welcome. I cannot read who it was. Kaylin, should it read it to me? That wasn't a question. Now somebody said thank you. I like the little poop. I'll say likes a little poop. Yeah, the poop was super easy to do. I mean, I just, it was just, I, I was choking around and I said I should make a poop shape freshy and uh, should make it chocolate scented and make it brown. And I had my cookie cutter kid around and, you know, we were just fooling around and say, oh, let me make fast uh, poop fresh. I had some beets left. So I just, uh, so chocolate beets. And I just, that's, I, I would in future probably put that in a cardstock and uh, then put it there. I think that's a super cute idea to have some poop freshy hanging in your car, smelling like chocolate. So... It, it was more a joke, you know, sometimes we fool out around a little bit, you know, just like when I ordered the wrong mold for freshies and I ended up with that size male genital part. And yes, I did made it and we had, uh, we had so much, we were laughing in the story, you know, we, we are a bunch of people and we were just laughing about it. And so same thing is, you know. It's like, ah, oh, we're getting fast idea. Oh, let me make fast the poop freshie. So I just made fast. And that was really, didn't take me very long. And I just had my kit here, you know, my tin strip. And it's the same material what you have, which one the cookie cutters are made out. And I just let me make fast uh, a little um, safe set tutorial for people which one didn't have time or were expecting me to go at noon. Um, we save it in the album or just look for, I think, do your own cookie cutter and how to do it. Keep me in mind, you know, that I'm the store which one brings you all these ideas and that is my job. I bring ideas to you guys that you're successful. I did had lately, and not just me, Fairy tale glitter. We are one of the groups where we are. We are not just repeating what other people do. We are actually sit in the background and we invent new techniques. And I had we had it just a lot happened that our ideas just got stolen. I don't mind if you make your own cookie cutters. That's why I do it. What I do mind is that one and a half week I release a technique. You go and say, oh, look what I just invented. That's what I mind because, you know, you just watch me. Let me do the hard work and then you claim it. And that's not right. Or said, uh, it's said the signs are stolen. These signs, if you create something and you sit in there for hours and people just screenshot your design and we had design stolen, uh, it's, that's not right. I mean, you know, it's, it's not right and we had so much happening. So we will do in further free tutorials, but if we really think that we are on something what is absolutely spectacular, and I do have some other people, you know, where we will have in future some paid tutorials. And with these tutorials will be a disclosure so people cannot share these ideas. They have to actually sign it. It will be illegal. They can only use it for the store, but they cannot share it. And But it will give user edge that only a few people will know how to do it. And only they can sell their product. So we will do that in future too, because... I had so many ideas stolen and it's so for me so frustrating 
and not just for me uh sarah had the same issue brandy had the issue brandy was saying you know after she did a tutorial she said she she saw another lady doing the tutorial she even used the same phrases as brandy did and it is for us so frustrating because we are not just sitting there and it just comes to us we sit in here and we practice you know it's not said it happened in the first try you know it's like i had to have three four times a run i have to sometimes spy things sometimes it doesn't work out i have to think of something else we put in time and money for you guys in and so it is upsetting or if you copy us give us at least credit and don't say i'll look what i just invented or what just discovered no you did not say it was specific a lady which one it was about the holy freshies no you did not one week after i released the tutorial discover it because it was for years and years and years no holy freshie out and now just a week after i re released my tutorial no you did not discover it it was a technique which when i brought to you it would it be too much coincidence i understand that sometimes people have the same thing but no you just you just stole an idea pretty much and another thing is i got in another group attacked because i didn't do fast enough and everywhere tutorials and i had to say you know if if i'm sitting here and do the legwork i'm not obligated to do these tutorials and i don't want to sound mean here but i'm not obligated and i'm not obligated to share it with everybody and if i just get a message hey show me how to do it um, I'm sorry, you know, there, is, there should be some politeness. I put work time, my free time in it to practice and do things. And if I don't do tutorials fast enough, it's I, I do have a store to run and I cannot just drop everything to, to do it. I will release it to you. And she, and she literally said, oh, you're one of these ladies. And where I say, you know, hey, I, I mean, people which were not in my groups, I know I share my ideas and you guys just have to go with my timeline because I do have a store to run. And I thought it was extremely, extremely rude because I brought so many ideas to you people and it actually really, I, f I felt offended there. And I wanted to bring that up. It's normally I don't complain in my tutorials, I said, but... I have to say, yeah, I felt offended where I say, you know, I'm not obligated to share my ideas with you guys and I'm not obligated to share it with, with anybody. You know, my group has a first priority. After my group, all the groups where I'm preferred vendor will have priority. And then maybe even YouTube videos will have priority before I share it just broad Broadwide. If people ask me and people ask me polite, I will tell you, you know, I will do it in my group. But I have a time limit, you know, I have even uh, a problem, you know, with time because I have so much to do to do it in my own group. So just bear with me and I will show you. It's not that I mean, but uh, I will not show you if if I attack you, you know, that lady will not ever see my tutorial because she directly attacked me. So, any other questions? Well, sadly, some people are donkey butts. Did it exactly say donkey butts? <laughs> what did you? Huh? Oh, so I say donkey butts or check it? Jackasses. Oh, okay, donkey butts. <laughs> Kayla translated it to monkey butts. Uh, donkey butts, that's cute. I wish you guys, so I will pack my stuff together. Wish us luck. We're going to X Rowing Tournament this weekend. It should be fun and we will. With our glitter axes. With glitter axes, yeah. Besides tumblers, we decorate axes as well. And yeah, we will go with our glitter axes. So wish us fun and luck. We will have this weekend a tournament. There is next week a tournament. And then I should have more time. It's just, you know, this month was really tight. We were. We actually have a private life. I had to go to a wedding. I had to make everything ready for the freshies, which one we still. And, oh, I have some designs for molds, which one was super, super cute. I have so many ideas right now. I'm in creative overflow and I try to make it all happen. So just bear with me with my timeline and you guys have a nice weekend. And let's say good luck, have fun if you say. Yeah, you guys have fun this weekend too. And... I will see you next week when I do more tutorials. 
And as I said, when I try to attempt to go at a certain time, it's not that I forget about you guys. I just probably just cannot make it because I have customers in the store. So my times are more guidelines. And bye.